a Negroni Spagliato with Prosecco in it. <laughs> if you get the urge to buy this palette by the end of the video, I'm really sorry. The only thing that will stop you from doing this is actually the price point of this palette. Aww. I have been using Danessa Myrick's Lightwork 4 palette for several weeks and I am here to help you make the decision if you need this palette or not. Because let's be honest, $160 is quite a lot of money. That's several bags or a pair of shoes. Let's do a little bit of swatching. I'm really excited actually for that. Oh, this lipstick makes my teeth yellow. Damn. Let's swatch our first shade, which is called Trans. Oh, look at this gorgeous beauty. Look at the pigmentation though. The second shade I'm going to swatch is going to be shade Nirvana. Ooh, look at that glide and slide. It's just like endless, like it never stops. Our next shade is going to be a glass metallic shade, which is called Divinity. Six Sense is also invited to the party. So let me put the swatch right here. Ooh, look at that. We also have the shade Out of Body, which is kind of like this, almost like a mermaid's tail type of shade. Up next, we have all these beautiful shades on the lower part of the palette. So I'm gonna start with the shade called Zen. And this is actually probably one of my favorite shades ever. Look at this. Okay, this is like Scarab on steroids, okay? Let's move on to the next shade, which is called Angel. So this is a glass metallic shade. Basically, I use them as a topper. Ooh, in combination with other shades. Look how beautiful this is, guys. Mm, mm -mm. Just a little bit of like sparkle up in there, you know? Then we have the shade called Trippy, which is also very beautiful. Let me put it right here. Ooh, look at that shift. So it's shifting basically from pink to green. Let's move on to the next shade, which is going to be Escapism. Escapism. I think I'm pronouncing it, like I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. So listen, English is not my mother tongue, so don't shoot me. Oh, look at this gorgeousness. Ooh, damn, girl. This is so beautiful. Okay, hold on. Like the last row is like probably one of my favorites. And we're gonna put it like this. Ooh, look at it. It like, it keeps on going. It keeps on going. It always keeps on going. I'm like going out of the direction, but ooh, I'm mixing the two shades up now. Okay, but look at it. Look how beautiful it looks like. Let me swatch Awakening. Let's see what your mama gave ya. Ooh. This is like swatches porn right here. Oh, it just goes on and on and on. This is looking really beautiful. Like my last row is probably one of my favorite row in this palette. With that being said, let's go to the middle row because the middle row is kind of special. Our next shade is going to be a pressed chrome flake shade, which is called Paradise. And so as you can see, I am breaking the seal first to give you the perfect swatches, okay? Now, as you move your finger, you actually feel the product warming up a little bit. And so eventually you will end up with something like this. It is going to swatch a little bit patchy because these are pressed flakes. Let's move on to our second press flake, which is called Heaven. Ooh, I like the shade so much. It is actually more vibrant in real life than it is on camera. But this shade is kind of shifting from green to blue and it's kind of like opal. It's a really fairy tale shade. I like the shade a lot. The next two shades are actually going to be quite exciting. This is something that I've never tried before. These are going to be the water activated shades. I'm going to take a little bit of water and I'm going to drop the water in this palette. Basically, you're going to paint. How exciting is that? So this is actually what you get. It's kind of like a pastel bluish shade. If you put more water in, you will get more pigment out of it. And now I'm going to do the same with the other shade, which is called Aura. The more you 
dip your brush into the pigment, the more payoff you will actually get. And according to Danessa, these shades are completely waterproof once they dry down. Let's talk about what I actually like within this palette. First of all, this palette is absolutely beautiful. I love the diverse formula within this palette because you actually get the glass metallics, the velvet chromes, the pressed flakes, the water activated shades, and it's just, oh, it's, it's like divine, okay? So the velvet shades, oh, this is like the best multi-chrome formula. I have ever tried. Even though this palette has different formulas within it, you get the pigment. Of course, the water activated shades are a little bit different because it's just a different way of working. But if you, as I said before, will pack on the brush with the water activated shade, you will get a lot of payoff. What is so weird about them is if you just try to swatch it while they're dry, almost nothing will come out of it. But if you put one drop of water, you can actually get an eyeshadow. I mean, how cool is that? Listen, not everything is going well with this palette, okay? Um, you also have few attention points you have to keep in mind. Now, if you're not used to wearing dark shades or if you have deep set eyes, it could be a little bit tricky to get used to it. If I have to choose between this shade in particular and the shade called Angels, I do love the Angel shade. I prefer Angel shade more than basically these kind of like golden sparkle shade right here. But I do understand why she put it in this palette because you can actually use the shade together with this shade or with the green shade or with this shade or even with this shade in particular. Girl, pay attention to the chrome flakes, okay? Chrome flakes are a little bit special in here. Don't use chrome flakes when you already have eyeshadow on because the formula of the chrome flakes is a little bit sticky. So if you try to kind of like swipe it on your eye, it will actually break down the eyeshadow you put underneath. I learned from my mistakes, okay? Just listen. How I use these two shades is basically as an eyeshadow on its own. And if you're just gonna swipe and blend it, it will give you like an actual shade all over your eye. Or if you want a little bit of sheer coverage, you can actually just pat that shade on your eyelid and you will have that flaky, kind of like chrome effect on your eyelid. Is it worth spending so much money on this eyeshadow palette? To be completely honest with you, I had so much fun playing with this eyeshadow palette. I was absolutely stunned with the formula. It is different, it is pigmented, it is actually quite good. So I do feel like, yes, 160 bucks is absolutely fucking insane, right? For an eyeshadow palette. Like the amount we spend on makeup is insane. I feel like makeup is getting just more and more expensive each time. Now, if we talk about this palette in particular, you will get 14 shades. The palette retails for $106 euros. I never know what to take because I'm European, but I have also American viewers, so pardon me. 10 shades will contain one gram of eyeshadow and four shades will contain two grams of eyeshadow. Now, 160 divided by 14 is actually 11.42 euro. The whole comparison goes basically to shit because you can actually not compare this palette with other palettes. Why? Because all these eyeshadows have different finishes and they are mostly multi-chromes. And yes, multi-chrome shades, they cost a lot of money. If I could give an award for the best multi-chrome or just best palette of 2022, it's probably going to be Danessa Light Work 4 palette. Nothing else to say about it, girl. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.